Hi guys, welcome to my workshop. Today we're starting a series where I attempt to make a wooden hammer to replace this old hammer. So to make this hammer, I'll be using for the handle some figured maple. This is actually a 2x2x20 two by two by piece of maple. And you'll see that I'm not using uh, the whole length of it. And for the head of the hammer, I'm going to use some Peroti. I have uh, this 4 feet block of Peroti. This is actually 2.5 two by 2.5 two and block. And this is going to be more than enough to make it. So in this video, we'll start by only making the handle. Since I want to make a very special handle, not just a regular one, I want to do a spiral handle because I think it'll look fantastic. Actually, I'm inspired by a YouTuber called Samurai Carpenter. He made actually a, a chisel with a spiral handle and this chisel looks wonderful and I really, really want to do it on my hammer. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So I'll start by marking my piece of wood with all the dimension. The hammer is about 10 and a half inches long, so I'm just going to cut it to size. So once all my guidelines were on it, I decided to go on my lathe and start turning this handle. So everything weren't going as planned because my chisel weren't sharp enough and the maple was way too hard. So I had difficulty so I just decided to go on my belt sander and do it doing it by hand so the trick on the belt sander it's really to keep turning your piece and always checking if it's everything's square and true so here I'm turning it until it's the width I want it to and it came out pretty well Okay, so here I'm applying some tape in a spiral way because that's how I'm going to do my spiral kind of handle. So the trick was to follow the tape I, I put in, but I decided not to. I, I decided to just give an angle to my saw and just keeping this angle and turning the piece around and this created a very nice spiral all the way down till the end of the handle. So from now, now on it's just me shaping the handle until it's the right fit for me and the way I like it so enjoy.
Boing. Ouch. So now that my handle is roughly shaped, I went on with some 220 grit paper and just sanded it down until it's all smooth. There you go guys, I finally, finally managed to finish my handle. You can't even imagine how much time it took me just carving this handle, shaving by shaving with my chisel. But I'm super happy with the result. I hope you guys find it pretty too. If you're excited to see the rest of it, please give me a like, please subscribe, and I'll see you next week. Ciao.